Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're brand new to our channel here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. We have a ton of videos on this channel. Uh, this is for you if you are a business owner who is within personal training or you do private training uh, within sports, private or group training or cancer clinics. We serve a lot of different coaches right now, and I want to make sure that you stay updated with the content we put out. Now, today I'm going to tell you a story, and I'll never forget this because I've, I've told this to other people when I, when I meet them in person um, about how this has impacted me. But this was probably uh, five, six years ago. I was with a coach that I really respected, and I was having lunch with him, and he was kind of like a mentor to me. And we were sitting there talking, and he was like, uh, he was telling me about how his business was going. Uh, he started his business way before mine. Uh, he, I mean, he'd been doing his business for over 20 years at that point. And I wanted to ask him a lot of questions about you know, how he got started, how he stayed in business for that long, because that's, <clears throat> that's a really long time. You have to be really good at what you do to be in business for over two decades. Most people who are in business fold after the first couple of months or fold within the first year. So he was someone who I <clears throat> really respected, someone who I really uh, learned from. And I asked him, I was like, you know, when you got started, how did you dial in who you wanted to work with? And he was like, I couldn't. I, I had to work with a lot of different clients to understand my sweet spot of who's the perfect client. And that made me think, because it was the same way I started. I didn't, when I started my, my training business, I used to train kids from every single age group. I remember one day I had, uh, I had like a four-year-old kid that I was training, and then I had a 22-year-old college player that I was training, and then I had um, an adult that was like 30 years old that I was training, and then I had all you know ages in between there. And I was just training whoever. And a lot of people, when they start their business, that's what they do. They, they don't know who they want to train. And I will tell you, the only way to find out is by getting experience and understanding who it is that you want to train. And I told myself at the very beginning, I was like, I only want to train guys that are between ages like 14, 18, that want to go play college soccer. And I quickly realized that was not going to be a good market for me. And that shifted towards training girls. Uh, most of the kids I train are girls that are um, now they're anywhere between like middle school and high school. And while we were sitting down though, when he told me that, he was like, you know, but once I figured out who I want to train, he was like, I knew exactly what my client smelled like. And I started laughing when he said that. And he was like, you know, I knew exactly the, the car that their parents were going to drive. I knew the, the school districts that the parents lived in. I knew everything about them. And he told me, he goes, I could write a book about what my clients dress like. And I remember when he told me that, I was like, man, I don't know enough about my clients. And that was after I'd been in business for already like five years at that point. And that made me really dig deep and understand who do I want to work with? Where are they? What characteristics do they have? What do they think about? How do they view pain per month? Is that a luxury item or is that an investment? Like what, what is it? And it got me to really understand the process of, you know what? I wasn't going deep enough yet with who I wanted to train. And then I started to dial that in more and more and more. And I remember like after six months after I spoke with him, I felt like I could write a book about what my clients smelled like, what they dressed like. And I wanted to know that so deep to the point where when I stepped onto a phone call, I was very confident speaking the same language as them. And that's the thing is if you're talking to a parent, for example, you're talking to a parent who has a kid who's 14 years old and they go to a certain school, uh, they live in a certain part of town, you are going to talk to them different than talking to a parent who has a four-year-old child 
that has zero experience, that doesn't live in the same part of town, that doesn't need the same help uh, as the 14 year old does. Okay, so this is why when you position yourself and you understand exactly who it is you want to work with, then it's a lot easier to close clients because you're talking to the same type of person over and over and over. And it's easier to close those clients because you know more about them and you know exactly what their kids struggle with. That's different than going into a conversation without knowing everything that you need to know. And I promise you that one little lunch that I had uh, with that guy, that one lunch changed my, my perspective of sales forever because it made me understand if I don't know everything I need to know about my my favorite clients that I want to work with in the future then I'm going to continue working with kids that I probably shouldn't be working with so I hope this helps you now if you're like all right I don't know anything about the clients that I want to train in the future or I want to change who I'm training so I'm attracting clients who are investing more they're paying more upfront they are more committed, they're with me for a year or longer than that, then what I want you to do is I want you to do something very simple, all right? Go shoot me a quick text. My number is 210-960-5771. Send me a text message and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just chat with you real quick. I wanna see who you are, what sport you're in, or what, what you specialize in. And then I want to understand your city and your state and your competition. When I know what those things are, it's very easy for me to get on a call with you and understand, all right, this is where you're at right now. This is who's doing what you want to do or who's doing what you're doing now at a higher level. And how can we beat them? And that's my goal. I, I don't want to help you be second or third place in your niche. I want you to be the best. That's the thing that, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I want to be the best at what I do. And it only works for me when I coach others if they want to be the best too. So if you want to be the best at what you do, uh, you want more committed clients, you want to know what your clients smell like in the future, and you want to hop into those sales calls with ease, then shoot me a text. You should have my number. I already said it. And once you text me, <clears throat> you'll, you'll hear back from me <clears throat> within 24 hours. All right, as long as it's during the week, you'll hear back from me. We'll move forward from there. Um, if you want to hop on our newsletter, I have a free newsletter that goes out two or three times a week. Uh, obviously on this YouTube channel, I upload all the time, right? We have th over 350 YouTube videos on here. Um, and I know there's a lot to learn, but for me, the best way I can help out is one-on-one -on -one over a call where I can really understand everything you need help with. All right, that's it. I'll see you later.